Good day, my name is Yali Ann Malate from BSIT and in this video, we will talk about the range, variance, and standard deviation of ungrouped data. The range, variance, and standard deviation are what we call the measures of dispersion. Dispersion is gaano kakalat yung data. So, let's define each one. The range is the difference between the highest and the lowest values. While the variance is the average distance from the mean. And the standard deviation is the average of squared distances from the mean. Here are the formulas na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng range, variance, and standard deviation. Let us answer these three. For number one, let us find the range. Paano nga pa kunin yung range? As said on the formula, makukuha natin ang range by getting the highest value minus the lowest value. Ano nga ba ang highest value natin dito sa given? So, of course, it's number 8. While the lowest is number 6. So, yung minus natin sila ngayon. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. And 2 is our range. So, next, kukunin natin is yung variance. This is the formula na kailangan natin para makuha yung variance. So, first, kunin muna natin yung mean. Paano nga ba kunin yung mean? Makukuha natin ng mean by adding all the items or all the given. So, 8 plus 6 plus 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 8 plus 6 is equal to 84. So, 84 ay ini-divide natin kung ilang items ba. So, bilangin natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 items. So, 84 divided by 12 is 7. And our mean is 7. Next is gagawa tayo ng parang table. So, ilagay na natin yung given ng pababa. Then, next is i-minus natin yung given sa ating mean. So, 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. And 6 minus 7 is equal to negative 1. So, since para-para halong naman yung number natin, ilagay natin siya dito. 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and another 1, and negative 1. Next is, i-square lang natin yung answer natin or i-multiply natin sa sarili. So, 1 times 1 is of course 1. So, negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1 pa rin. Kasi negative times negative is equal to positive. So, sagutin na natin pa ba? Next is, kukunin na natin yung summation. So, the total is 12. Since nakuha na natin yung summation, ina-substitute na lang natin. So, 12 divided by n minus 1. Ano nga ba yung n? Yung n is yung total given natin. So, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. 12 minus 1 is equal 11. So, i-divide na natin siya. 12 divided by 11 is equal to 1.09090909. Ngayon naman is i-round off natin siya into two decimal places or to the hundreds place and the answer will be 1.09 so ang variance natin sa given ay 1.09 this time kukulin na natin yung standard deviation ang formula ng standard deviation is i-square root lang natin ng ating variance since nakuha natin ng ating variance which is 1.09 Square root of 1.09 is 1.04403065 and so on. We round off uli natin and ang magiging answer natin is 1.04. Since nasagutan na natin ang number 1, sagutan na natin ang number 2. Same process lang din siya sa nauna natin ginawa. Ngayon is kuna na natin yung range. Ang highest value natin ay 11. While ang lowest value natin is negative 12, minus lang uli, the answer is 23. Kukunin na natin is yung variance. Kukunin na natin yung mean. 
So negative 8 plus negative 5 plus negative 12 plus negative 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 is equal to negative 4. I-divide na natin siya kung ilang items or ilang batong given. So dahil ang given natin is 7, i-divide natin siya negative 4 divided by 7. And the answer will be negative 0 0.57142857714. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa unang number, ganun lang din, ilalagay lang natin yung given. Then next is, imaminus natin yung mean sa given natin. Negative 8 minus negative 0 0.57142857714 is equal to negative 7.4285714. So, sagutan na rin natin yung iba. Next is, kukunin na natin yung squared na sinagotan natin. Negative 7.4285742 times itself is 55.1836733434. Kanina na din. Sagotin na rin natin siya po aba. Now is, kukunin na natin yung summation. So, the total is 417.7142857714. So, the summation of the squared of the given minus the mean is i-divide natin siya sa 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. So, 417.7142852.3 divided by 6 will be 69.6190475.3. Pag ni-round off natin, ang magiging sagot is 69.62. Dahil nakuha na ulit natin ang variance, kunin na natin ang standard deviation. Ang square root ng 69.62 is 8.3438600018. I-round off natin ulit. Ang sagot ay 8.34. And for the last number, which is number 3, is kunin pa rin. Kukunin natin yung range. Highest value natin is negative 4. Minus the lowest value, which is negative 31. Ang sagot ay 27. Next is, kukunin natin yung variance. Kukunin natin ulit yung mean. And ang magiging answer natin is negative 15.7142857.1. Gawan na ulit natin ng table pa ba? So, ilalagay lang natin yung given. And next is, minus natin yung mean sa given natin. So, negative 23 minus negative 15.7142857.1 is equal to Negative 7.2857149 Sagutin na rin natin yung dares Then next I-square lang ulit natin So negative 7.2857149 Times itself Is 53.0816327171 Sagutin na natin pababa And the total Will be 573.4285739 Isa-substitute lang natin uli. So, ang item natin ay 7 uli. Minus 1 is equal to 6. So, 573.4285739 divided by 6 will be 95.5714.2856. We round up uli natin. The answer will be 95.57. Since nakuha na uli natin ang variance, kukunin natin natin ang standard deviation. And the square root of 95.57 is 9.77599099. Round of ale, magiging sagot ay 9.78. That would be all. Thank you for watching.